Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to do view layers. Yeah, so it's super exciting. But basically, uh, I noticed this problem in the last rotoscoping uh, video where we were using freestyle to trace our 3D objects. And in doing so, we uh, accidentally cut through the lines of our strokes. So view layers are super powerful and they're used to split up certain scenes and give different Z depths so that we can render things separately so we have more control over our scene and our composition. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it looks super ugly, but that's not the point. So then we'll come over here to shift, uh, we'll come over here to object mode, shift A, mesh, cube. Now that we have a 3D object, we are going to move it back into space, right? And if you hit a 12, once again, not a problem because it doesn't matter. But when we enable freestyle, come over here to the com uh, camera settings, freestyle, and now we hit a 12, we can see that it is getting like x-rayed. It's getting drawn through the grease pencil object. Now, this is important to know, and it's an easy fix in the sense that all we need to do is um, separate the way that freestyle is getting rendered. Uh, and put it in different view layers. So we're going to come up here, create a new collection, as you saw me just do. We'll name it 3D. Inside that, we're going to drag our 3D object. We are going to rename uh, the collection with a stroke in it, um, 2D. And then over here on the view layer, this is where we can create a new view layer, similar to it. Um, the layers will just come in here and uh, I'll name it 3D. So this is our 3D view layer currently. So we want to uncheck uh, our stroke. So now it's disappeared. And then when we hit render, we can see our 3D object. Awesome. You can even see up right here um, what view layer is getting rendered. So now we can come up here and create add view layer new. And then we'll hit 2D. And now we're in the 2D version. Uh, if you drop down right here, we can go back to 3D and then 2D. And what we want to do is uncheck 3D. So we hit render. See, we're still seeing the 3D and that's okay. We'll change it to the 2D view layer. And now that we're there, we only see, it's important that we only see the 2D or whatever we have checked inside that view layer. So this is the only thing that's checked alongside the camera. So make sure the camera is included in both of the view layers. And then of course 2D. So now you're thinking, well, how do we combine them? Well, it's easy. Uh, well, not really, but kind of. So hang with me and we're gonna go ahead and combine them. So let's drop into the compositing tab and combine them. So cool, we're back into here. Um, do not fret. We'll come up here to the top where it says compositing. Inside compositing, you see nothing and we'll do use nodes. Um, if you don't see anything, make sure to have use nodes checked. Okay, so here is our render layer. So right now, let me kind of explain this, break this down for you. The camera comes right here, gets the scene. It asks for the view layer. So right now it's 3D as a view layer. Then it sends that image data into the final composite. And then with these values with the Z and then the alpha, which is just basically the opacity, it outputs it as the final render. So if we change this to 2D and hit F12, which is the command, then it'll show us um, the selected view layer. So all we need to do is do both. So we do Shift D, so we duplicate it. And now we hit um, this to be 3D. And we can actually see a little preview right there. So we see there's they're different. And we need to combine them. If um, So what we're going to do is do Z combined right here. And what we want to do with this is drag our image right here and then our other view layer right there for the image. Then we'll drag the final image right here to kind of show it right next. We'll drag out a new window, a new, new uh, view area right here. We'll come down and change this to, um, all right, cool. So we'll come up here, we'll drop down to image editor Oopsies, image editor, and then make sure this right here says render result so that we can just kind of see side by side what it looks like. Um, and you will not see it in here, so we'll make sure that, uh, let me see, in this scene, 
we'll move this slightly over. Let me see what that looks like. Okay. okay, and then we'll come over here into the view layer properties, and we need to make sure that Z is checked for both um, render and that. As you can see, now we have a new node. It's depth, so we'll plug in the depth so we don't have to do the Z ourselves. Let me render it. And yeah, there you go. Now, let me make sure I don't need that. Yeah, so use alpha is optional. You do not need to use alpha. But now when we hit F12, it renders fine. And this is great because now you don't run into the issue of um, rendering. You can render a grease pencil by itself. And there's a lot of power with um, view layers because now you can individually edit each element um, that is assigned to that view la layer and the compositing tab. And just to be like, just to show you like a quick example, um, we can come back here and like if you wanted to add, I don't know, a um, this distortion. Yeah, so see, you can individually edit um, each element, add different effects uh, if you want to so that they are attached differently. Obviously, this is creating a very bad um, artifact right here, but it just kind of goes to show that view layers are extremely powerful and you can expand them more. Uh, additionally, I just want to say that uh, in the view layer properties, if you take any of these items, um, you can play with them in the compositing tab. So right now I'm in 2D. So if I hit light, then you see I get more options. Obviously you don't want to put too much, but it gives you more flexibility. Uh, like if you want to play with the normal values and other things like that. Um, additionally, I would say, uh, so on the freestyle, cool. So one thing I do want to say, um, if you want to individually edit the freestyle, you can do as render pass and you'll get a separate layer to edit. And we can just kind of do a, um, so instead of passing in that value, which was the whole image, we can just pass in the freestyle. So now it'll only render the freestyle when we hit F12. Uh, and you can't really see it too well here, but let me just kind of change my background, hit F12. And as you can see that uh, it only renders the box because if we come back over here to yeah, so if you want to individually show the freestyle or if you want to show the whole image, as you can see, there's a difference right there. Um, it's This is just the 3D object. And if you want to show the object and the freestyle, just do another Z combine. Plug that into here, add this into here. And then there you go, it'll show, it'll show both right there. Um, let me see. And depth. Use alpha. There we go. Use alpha. So yeah, that'll show both. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.